We're going to see some singles division action as Tim Dodds making his next-gen debut, facing up against a man that he stole show after show and promotion after promotion with in 2009. One big epic battle right here tonight between Tim Donst and the angelic assassin Aaron Williams as we get our first look at Tim Donst coming through the curtain. Well, I tell you what, Tim Donst, I, I've been really impressed with this guy. He, he's a tremendous mat wrestler, really knows his holds, his moves. I mean, this guy could write a book and, and, and fill every page and, and still have a sequel. Yeah, yeah. Trained by the legendary Mac, Ma Mike Quackenbush uh, in uh, Chikara's Wrestle Factory. He's made his way to the Midwest after spending uh, a lot of time on the East Coast in Chikara Wrestling, making a name for himself, and is quickly making a name for himself right here in Ohio and right here in the Midwest as a force to be reckoned with on any roster. And his opponent, weighed in tonight at 185 pounds, Hailing from the Bloodhaven Dojo, this is the Angelic Assassin, Aaron Williams. And Dirk, this guy right here, a spiritual warrior, the Angelic Assassin, Aaron Williams. He, 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 he lives up to that motto, speak softly but carry a big stick. This guy's kicks are lethal. He's a, he's a trained martial artist, and he's a very fine wrestler coming out of a uh, 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 being trained by uh, Cody Hawk, who we saw earlier tonight, and Matt Stryker had a hand in his training. This guy is nothing short of a prodigy of wrestling. This Aaron, Aaron Williams has won title after title and promotion after promotion. He's made quite a name for himself. And 2010 seems to be a year where he's going to break out, and, uh, and he's going to go through Tim Donst tonight to move up the rankings here in Next Gen Wrestling. Well, going through Tim Donst is going to prove to be quite the challenge. Angelic Assassin or not, Tim Donst. These two, from what I understand, have met each other on several occasions. They, many called it the independent Midwest feud of the year of 2009, each holding victories over the other, so this match can really go either way. Big Steve Helpenstein going to be the referee for this match. He's refereed uh, their matches in the past. So, uh, all three of these men very uh, aware of uh, each other's uh, limitation so I don't think we're going to go to a DQ here unless somebody does something really out of the ordinary because I think Steve Helmstein wants to see a winner here tonight especially after the last match that went to a no contest had to be thrown out I think uh, we're, we're going to hopefully this is going to go straight to a conclusion and we will have a definitive winner tonight heading to our tournament time oh, you can predict the future that's that's what I'm hoping Yeah, I, I would think that next gen officials Matt Stryker back there too probably has, has told the referees hey we have to see a winner here. So uh, there might be a little bit, I mean, I don't want to say they're going to break the rule book. Bending there, of the there, rule. There's going to be a little, maybe a little bit more laxer on count outs, maybe a little more laxer when it comes to uh, things that get this match thrown out because the last thing we want to do is send, <laughs> you see the crowd's right behind Aaron Williams. You know, this is what I don't understand about Owensville, and it's not just Owensville. I mean, this stupidity is contagious around Around the world, a great athlete, a great amateur wrestler like like Tim Donst. And they're booing him. They're booing him. But yet they cheer the guy that comes out in the black leather, in the black leather hat, looking all cool and everything, you know. Well, Aaron Williams, uh, as you see, that the agility there, and these guys have yet to lock up. I mean, they know each other so well. You know, Aaron Williams is, is uh, from uh, right around this area. That's probably got the hometown edge. He's from the... Uh, Batavia area went to Bethel, Batavia, uh, and uh, went to Bethel right there in Claremont County. As he gets him down to one knee, you're gonna see a lot of mat wrestling right here. These guys know each other so well. Uh, you're gonna see the uh, high flying martial arts style clashing with the uh, amateur wrestling and power moves from Tim Donst here. Very smart. Tim Donst gets to the ropes and Bell's trying to get a breather, trying to slow the pace down. That was really smart. Aaron Williams had him right in a predicament he didn't want to be in. Tim Dost wisely taking his time here. And look, I'm trying to show everybody. Show everybody. It looks like Aaron Williams may have grabbed some wrist tape there to get the advantage. Looks like some wrist tape got loose, but I, 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 well, you I know Aaron Williams very well, and I, I doubt that's in his character. Yeah. Take up for your buddies. All right. Well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shy around. I try to call this right down the mirror, but I will tell everyone out there that I, me and Aaron Williams are quite good friends here. 
And, uh, you know, but like I said, Tim Donce is one heck of an athlete, and uh, I would not be surprised if Tim Donce walked away with a victory tonight. And Tim Donce, <laughs> right where he doesn't want to be, gets to the ropes. Great ring presence right there by uh, Tim Donce, knowing that, uh, you know, kept him close to the ropes. That's what he wants to do is he wants to stay near the ropes because Aaron Williams can hit him with so many submission moves, especially that cross face that he does. I don't know where Aaron Williams is a little bit of showboating there. Maybe trying to get in the head of Tim Donst. Donst, Donst knows the, the squared circle better than most men know the back of their hand. Is Tim Donst right here going to try to, looks like he's going to try to show off himself. And, oh, and he fails miserably as a kip up. And Donst taking his frustration. There was a wet spot there in the middle of the ring. Oh, he slipped, did he? Don's uh, right on the attack goes, and Aaron Williams breaks it. Comes in, side headlock, shot off into the ropes. Comes in, Don's using his brain. He goes, Aaron goes in. Wilbur almost, though, pulls him over. Leapfrog. Don's comes in. Looks like he's going to go for an arm drag of his own, but Aaron Williams reverses it into an arm drag, and uh, Don's is to the outside. Williams throws Don's to the outside Whoa. once again. Williams looked like he was going to go out and dive, and Don's prepared himself for it. And he's tri look. Oh, and a hard chop on the outside. You see, you see the rivalry between these guys getting a little bit more heated. Uh, these guys know each other well before next year was even a, a promotion. And now tonight, you can see why they're the talk of the talk of the tri-state area. Well, you got to think there's so much more on the line than just you know these two. Since they have faced each other so many times, when a promotion begins its inception, it means so much to have that first victory over the other one. And look. Yeah. Right here. Wait, it, Aaron What's Williams encouraged the fan to get involved. I <laughs> help us die. I don't know. The fans look a little hesitant about it. I mean, surely this kid. He's the. Wait, he looks. He's, maybe he's gonna do it. I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, hard chop, Aaron Williams, letting the fans get in the action. You never know what's gonna happen in next year's show. You might get in on the action as the kid's rubbing his head. That looks like it hurt him. And there's another what? chop from another fan. What is it? I mean. Uh, Evidently, we're bending the rules here tonight. This would be a disqualification. They've been on the outside more than 10 seconds. Like, that last match had a lot to affect. This has apparently been ruled that they're allowed to go outside the ring at, at the referee's discretion, mind you. Steve Helpenstein can pull this back into the ring and do a count out if he wants if they're not listening to him. And, you know, he can let it go to a no contest or a time limit draw, I mean, a, a count out a draw or whatever. But, uh... It looks like they're going to let these two guys fight it out right here in front of Owensville's fans right here on DVD with Next Gen Wrestling. And Aaron Williams is not letting up on those chops. And Tim Donst doesn't look like he has anywhere to go. Off the ropes comes Aaron Williams up. And Tim Donst counters it. Williams hits hard. And Donst is still clutching that chest, which is red from the not only Aaron Williams chops, but you got the kid on the outside and the kid on the other side. European Africa sitting in the back and... Tim Don's chest shows the brunt of those chops. <laughs> I, I think he took maybe 20 chops there, all in all. Maybe I was overshooting it there, but right now, in the ring, winding him up. Aaron shut off the rope. Don's puts all his power into it, comes in, and takes him down. And a little bit of show, buddy, from Don's now. It seems he got Aaron wins right one. You see the great pin attempt there. He put the weight on him and had that elbow right in the face of Aaron Williams, adding that added pressure. Well, Tim Donz not only focuses a lot on amateur wrestling, but you can tell he gets a lot of his inspiration from the Japanese style. Oh, he's a very strong style uh, type of wrestler. Uh, learned that great uh, qualities from uh, some of his trainers in Chikara. Mike, like I said, Mike Quackenbush, or and also had a hand under uh, being trained by uh, Chris Hero. And, uh, and the other name escapes me, and I apologize for that. You should. <laughs> 